We tend to think of ant colonies as a finely tuned eusocial system, but sometimes there's an ant. Sometimes there's an ant. Yes, a team of the University of Arizona entomologists recently took note of rather lazy members of the ant species Timnothorax rugatullus. Members of the colony who spend their time in constant levels of inactivity that border on orthodox dudism. And we're not just talking about one lazy dude here, but roughly half of a 250 member ant colony. So in studies published this month in Behavioral Ecology and Sociobiology and the Journal of Bioeconomics, authors Daniel Charbonneau and Anna Dornhaus investigated the mystery. And it was a tantalizing mystery because these weren't parasite addled workers. There wasn't some manner of colony collapse going on here. They weren't resting or working on a different shift or just passing on communications. Rather, laziness just seemed their specialized behavior. And the researchers explored several different theories as to how it fit into the system. First up, there's the reserve worker theory. Think of firefighters lounging around the station just waiting for an alarm. The ant colony has to deal with fluctuating food levels, worker loss, and the occasional full-blown invasion, so it pays to have a reserve of fresh workers on call. And then there's the response threshold theory. Perhaps these ants just have higher thresholds for participating in work, in the same way that different cat owners have different thresholds for cleaning up litter box filth. You can't anthropomorphize the situation too much, though. Another idea called the refrigerator theory actually shows a lot of promise, and it hinges on the fact that many ant species boast specialized stomachs called crops. They go out into the wilds, they harvest the food, and they bring it back in their crops to share with everyone through a little uh, communal regurgitation. So they might just be living food stores. Finally, there's a good chance that they're just designated breeders, cooking up new generation of workers for the colony. In an unpublished study, Charbonne found the ovaries of lazy ants were actually more developed. It's another area that requires additional study, and even if this theory holds true, the resulting eggs could be earmarked for colonial feasting rather than the nursery. Again, it never pays to overhumanize the ant colony. Whatever the reason, the lazy ant seems to play a role in the colony. That laziness might be an essential part of any emergent complex system. Sometimes there's an ant. Well, she's the ant for her time and place. She fits right in. So are you looking for more weird wonders from the scientific world? If so, be sure to check in over at now.howstuffworks.com every day.